Hi, it's Julie Meller, Easy Swing Coach. Um, just before I start this video about driving, I've got some exciting news to share with you guys. Um, our new website has just been launched, which is easyswing.com. And we're also, uh, first week in September, we're about to launch uh, a new online platform where you'll be able to get access to videos that all the Easy Swing coaches make. There's going to be at least 10 new videos on there every month. Uh, and these won't be available on YouTube. Uh, some fascinating topics that we'll be covering uh, and well worth, uh, well worth looking at. So um, remember easyswing.com is our website and our platform is easyswing.mysport. That's M-I-sport.golf. Um, if you're interested in, uh, in signing up to our subscription-based platform, uh, message me and I can send you an invitation. Um, and I think you'll be really impressed with what we've been doing over the last few months. Uh, there's some other great features on there and there's also added benefits of joining so you'll get uh, access to uh, to come and join our courses before everybody else does so so on so forth just loads and loads of different benefits from it um, and yeah we're all really excited about it so today's topic is about driving I'm here early in the morning I'm just actually setting up for a two-day course I'm about to run uh, but I thought I'd take opportunity of doing this video it's um, it's actually quite calm today so hopefully you won't get too much wind in the background uh, so let's start uh, talking about driving. So one of the first things that we need to get right, you need to get right, is make sure that you've got a driver that works for you. Um, so often I see people uh, who come for coaching and they've probably got the wrong driver, i.e. the wrong type of, uh, of head, uh, the wrong loft on the golf club. Um, I used to be very much an eight and a half degree type person using my driver. Now I'm up to a ten and a half, and I just find it so much easier. So my my first suggestion is go and get a fitting if you can. Um, what you're looking for is the correct loft on your head, the correct shape of head, the right flex of shaft, the right length of shaft. Again, I think some people have uh, clubs that are too long for them. Uh, and also the right thickness of grip, all really, really important. So I highly recommend that you go out and get a fitting for a driver. Okay, uh, a couple more things that I like to see when people are setting up to driver. Um, I think these are really important and uh, something that you may not have thought about before, um, but well worth taking note of. So the first one is ball position. I very much, uh, I used to be, dare we say, what, what, uh, what is generally said in the golfing world, make sure you have the golf ball opposite your left heel. Well, um, through our experience uh, and the people that we've been coaching, left heel is not always the best place, especially if you've got a kind of ailment, you know, difficulty with momentum, difficulty with movement, uh, hips, knee joint, shoulder joint issues. It's not always the best place. So when I set up now, and I've, I'm, um, I've done this through experience and practicing a lot, my golf ball is actually inside my left heel. And that's where it feels most comfortable for me. So what I, uh, I would advise, and don't take my word for it, try different ball positions with your driver. You might even find that it's better almost outside your toe. You never know until you have a go. So. Um, just, just play around with it and see what gives you the best results. The second thing that we see all too often is people's stance with drivers gets far too wide. Almost looks too aggressive, you're leaning backwards. Um, the, the issue with too wide a stance is you miss out on mobility. You become very static and you can't really involve the body too well. So if anything, we prefer a fractionally narrower stance with driver rather than one that's too wide where you become too static. Again, play around with this. Um, what's, the of uh, what's the definition of insanity is do the same thing and expect a different outcome. Don't be afraid to try different ball positions. 
Uh, you might find, uh, try different ball positions, different widths of stance, you might find that it makes a big difference. The third thing that we uh, would prefer with, with driver setups is to, is to be slightly taller when you're addressing the golf ball. Let's see if we can get, get in here. So I prefer to be a little bit taller. The reason for this is it's taking a lot of strain off my lower back, off my shoulders. All too often we see this kind of setup with a driver or people trying to get it all on, on one plane. Now this cannot be natural. This, this has to create a lot of tension in the setup. So don't be afraid to stand taller and feel um, more relaxed in your setup rather than stretched out and, and, and awkward. So again, always remember tension in our world is that number one enemy. So reduce tension by all costs. So the three things, the three things that I like to see when people are, are driving. Number one is the first principle of easy swing, which is turning. I love to see people turn backwards and forwards. So they turn to the right and turn to the left if you're right-handed. Um, not a big fan of seeing this tilt one way or the other. So let's turn is our first one. So if we match that up with the golf club, I'm going to try and do this from sideways. Turn, and that's moving the club to the top of the backswing as best you can. That's it. So I much prefer a turn. Let's try and do that nice and smooth rather than a lift, which we see far too often. And sometimes people take the club far too flat on the inside. So just a smooth body turn and the wrist just finish off the backswing. So that's number one. Number two is club face. So I'm gonna try and get this up here. Um, an exercise that I like to do is hold the club, this is probably about two foot off the ground here. So I'm gonna to turn to the top and then bring it back to impact and stop. And what I'm looking for is that club to look the same as it was when it started. So we turn, release that club face. So often we see this action where people hold onto the club face and that's the one that's going to get the club face wide open and the ball's going to go high and right if you're right-handed. So that would be an exercise I'd highly recommend that, that you do and get, get very good at squaring the face up. After all, with a driver, if you're slightly open or slightly closed, that ball's going all over the place. It's, it's quite an unforgiving club if you, don't get, if you don't master this bit. So turn and release, release that club face. And our third thing, my third thing, is finish. Turn, release, hold a balanced finish. I just want to demonstrate to you uh, an action that I commonly see with people. So, nice comfortable setup. They might turn well to the, to the top of the backswing and then you see this action. And they tend to hit and fall backwards. That one's gone, well, I don't know, 40, 50 yards way off to the right. To be honest, with that, with that motion as you're coming to hit it, it's actually a little bit of luck whether you make good contact or not. And always the, the thing that amazes me with golf, you can hit a great golf shot with any golf swing, but will you be consistent? That's what we're looking for. So three things that I look for in a golf swing are a good turn to the top of the backswing. You'll also see that I've got a nice weight shift here. Releasing the club face square at impact and then hold a balanced finish. So I'm just going to hit a couple to show you my golf swing. Again, so I feel taller, I feel relaxed, my stance isn't too wide. And I've held the balance finish. Now that one went absolutely dead straight. Um, let me just do one more. And then I'll do it from the side so that you can see it from the side. So nice and tall, relaxed setup, feet not too wide apart, smooth turn. 
and that's another one right out there that's actually gone with a lovely soft draw so I'll just uh, turn the camera around and I'll do a few from the side so you can see it from sideways on so I'll just do these shots now down down the line um, thinking about the club face again and actually squaring this club face up I know that I'm going to get a few questions well which part of the body is controlling the club face well what I prefer people to think about is more about the club head rather than what's controlling it if you just think about the art of using a knife and fork so if you're going to cut a piece of meat do you actually think what your wrist action should be doing to move the knife to cut the meat or do you just move the implement so think more about the club head and less about what's actually controlling it um, because if you can move the club head correctly we know that the relevant parts of the body are, are going to be doing their job so releasing the club face and then let the body do its job so now I'll just hit a couple of shots down the line just so you can see my swing from sideways on so again feel that little bit taller than uh, you might see a lot of people nice and relaxed in my address position simple turn to the top of the back swing and release you can see how balanced the finish was again really really important part of the golf swing that's often overlooked so I'd highly recommend that you work on a balanced finish. Let me just hit one more. So there's a couple of shots there that have absolutely flown off down the middle. So I hope this uh, video helps. I didn't want to get too complex about it. I think a lot of people uh, go massively over the top with positions in the golf swing. Let's try and avoid those uh, because it's going to give you a calmer mind. Um, if you're thinking about every single position within the golf swing, that's going to lead to confusion and you generally don't see very nice flowing golf swings uh, when people are trying to piece it all together. So work on the turn, work on the release, hold a balance finish and I'm certain that these things are going to help you with your driving. As always, if you've got any questions, just let me know. And if you'd like to, if you'd like an invitation to subscribe to our, our MySport platform, uh, just send me a message and I'll send you a personal invite uh, through, through the website. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.